Falls High School, and uh, it was, the church was gone in one year. And the first morning they had catering and uh, just an incredible environment. This pastor, top of the line, used to work for Jack Graham as his like right hand guy. You know, Pastor Preston with that is one of the largest churches in America. So legit guys go in and fail. And um, it's always been this sort of mysterious thing. Why do some churches click? And why do some churches just struggle to hit a community and make an impact? When I was planning in Northern Virginia, there was a church started in Charlottesville, uh, Virginia. And uh, it was started by a guy named Louis Cataldo, who was a long time, I mean long time, Young Life area director. And he was one of those guys whose likability factor was kind of off the charts. You know, everybody loved him. He had poured into these uh, teenagers' lives for years and years and years. And when he started his church in Charlottesville, that thing went from him and his wife overnight to close to a thousand people. It just boomed and it exploded. Um, I know and I believe firmly that there are spiritual factors to a church's success. I know that in my own community in Western Virginia, there was a lot of spiritual hostility toward the claims of the gospel and who Jesus was. Uh, I couldn't even go visit people at the hospital without going through uh, the sort of the gauntlet of this uh, Episcopal priest who required every single minister to vow never to never bring up Jesus ever in their hospital visits. So it's like this community had a headlock on Jesus, you know, and like wasn't letting him go. So I understand there's spiritual factors involved. What I want to talk to you about today is, is not a spiritual factor, but it, yet I think it is a critical factor to every church's success, uh, not only in the first year and before it launches, but even year in, in year four and five and six up to year 10 and, and on. Um, and that is the idea that a church isn't just a spiritual institution, it is a social movement, or it is a social sort of phenomenon, meaning you have to have relationships that the gospel and your church can travel through. And I'm going to explain this because it's very intuitive. But you ever go to the beach? I do this with my kids whenever we go to the beach. The waves come up, and so we build a sand castle, and we build a moat around the castle, and we stand back and wait for the water to come up to fill the moat. You know what I mean? And so we back off, and the water goes back in, and then we have a moat filled with water. And, it's, and, and the water is channeled in the same direction that we've dug out. Well, um, you can do that with um, any, any kind of uh, pattern you like. You can, you can uh, make S's and you can spell your name and it'll fill with water and it'll take the shape of, of that trench that, that, you, that you've dug. And um, I, I think another analogy would be, uh, you've seen in movies where uh, you, you got the guy smoking a, a cigarette and, and, and the camera shows a line of gas you know, coming up to him and, and then he throws the cigarette down and, and they show his eyes, you know, as, you know as, he's, as he's looking at the gas and then there's an explosion and, uh, or, the, or the fire follows the trail of gas. I think the gospel and I think our church plants in terms of how they grow and how they reach people travels along social networks. That guy in Charlottesville, when he started his church, I think he could have decided to sell Amway and would have been successful because he had a he had a strong relational network that he had built. And the church traveled through uh, very high trust relationships so that when the church was planted, people were ready to become a part of something that they were all knit together by socially, if that makes sense. And, uh, you know, that sounds so unbiblical until you look, and, and I guess the, the thing about most church planters is that what makes us church planters is that we have an audacity to start something from nothing. I got an email, I hope 